had been using a SM57 to mic electric guitar amp for a while and while they are great, extremely versatile mics I always felt my tone was a bit nasally, congested sounding and was extremely sensitive to mic placement on the speaker. So I figured I'd give this a try. Much more airy, natural amp sounding tone to my ears and sounds pretty much the same no matter where you put the mic. This review is not a knock on SM57, there's a reason they're pretty much the standard, but to me and my ears the E609 just sounded more like what I wanted to hear in my ears coming from my amp. Very transparent mic. I love that what I record with it sounds like what I am hearing. Works well with higher volumes. Also works well recording lower volumes as if you live in an apartment and want to track guitars without getting a noise complaint from the office. I've used SM57s and I prefer this. It could be me but the SM57s always clipped when recording anything high gain. These are very easy to set up and use. To me it's as easy as direct recording and the sound quality is better than VST or a processor. I use the E609 primarily to mic 50W Marshall head with JCM 904x12 cab in combination with a Shure SM57. I find it to be brighter and more transparent than the darker sound captured by the Shure. If I could only use one, I'd go with the Sennheiser E609 over the Shure SM57 because the tone sounds more natural anywhere on the speaker, requires less EQ tweaking and needs no stand. That said, the two mics work very well together. This mic is an excellent value. I wish I had purchased one years ago. Signal chain for this review. Sennheiser E609 Art Tube Mic Preamp. Tascam 388 Analog 8 Track. Awesome mic for a guitar amp, cab. I use it to keep our electric guitarist amp down low then mic him so our stage volume can be much lower and he can still get all the volume he needs through the mixing desk and his aux send to his IEM. Using a Fender Blues Junior Amp, I compared the tonal response between the E609 and a Shure SM57. The E609 has slightly higher mid-range response and a better humbucking quality to it, but the SM57 captures a large range of frequencies, particularly for cleaner guitar sounds, I. E. Makes the sound a little fuller. The ease with which to use the E609 with an amp, just hang it over the top, I use velcro to keep it in place, is a plus, however. The biggest con I found is that I am not getting very much signal through it when recording through a Presonus DAW, requiring me to crank the amp to volumes that are pretty loud. The SM57 wins in that aspect, but not by much. Decent mic, but probably not the answer in the quest for the greatest tone ever. It's a Sennheiser 609 that arrived on time, what else do you need? Seriously if you're a guitarist and you're thinking of getting your own mic for your amp, this is your guy. I am a huge fan of Shure, and the SM57 can double as a work hammer, but I prefer the 609 cause I don't need to carry a stand. ABA 609 and 57, their going sounds ridiculously close. I've been using this mic on gigs for the last year as a drop mic in front of my guitar amp. It sounds great, it doesn't compromise the tone and I think even enhances the tone. For 80 bucks this mic was a steal. I love my trainer amp and this mic really captures the tone pretty much exactly as it sounds out of the speaker. It's really easy to set up and requires no stand so works exactly as advertised, though the cord does twist up a little so I find it works best with some masking tape applied to hold it in place. 
I've even tried it as a vocal mic and it's doable, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for that. I compared against an SM57 and I think this one sounded slightly better and is easier to use as well. This mic really is all it's cracked up to be. Buy it. Very good for gigging, in-ear monitoring, recording. Click link in description for more reviews.